when you're not administering or setting up your Hike Central system. You should be using the Hike Central control client for all of your typical day-to-day -day activities such as viewing or monitoring live video, looking at playback, interacting with alarms, etc. Most of these features are shown right here in my dashboard with these large icons. However, there are parts of the control client that provide very important information that sometimes get overlooked. Today we're going to focus on the status bar. And the status bar is this area in the upper right hand side of the screen that contains some very important information. As you can see at this moment, there is an exception triangle with an exclamation point in it telling me that I have some sort of an exception. I know that there's just one because there's a one in the round circle on top of it. If I go ahead and mouse over it, it will give me a description of the configuration exception that is currently taking place. It tells me the device name, the type of exception, some results, and to contact the administrator to edit those particular settings. I can also come down here and click on the word view and it will show me a little more detailed information, although because I'm in the control client, I can't necessarily fix this. I'll need to go into the web client to make those particular changes. I can mouse over the exception icon and get more detailed information about the exception. The next section of the status bar that's always overlooked is the VSM configuration synchronizer. When you make changes to your system or changes are being made to the system, your control client needs to be in sync with those changes. Now when a synchronization issue occurs, you'll see a red dot on top of the synchronization icon which allows you to initiate a manual synchronization. So you can just go ahead and click on this icon and that will resynchronize your control client with the entire system. This typically only happens when new configuration changes are being made on the fly while you happen to be in the control client doing live monitoring, etc. The next icon is the download center. If I go ahead and click on that, it brings me to my download center where I can see different downloads that have taken place within my system. We'll actually cover the download center in further detail in a different tutorial. This is just a quick way to get to the download center or to be notified if there's any downloads taking place. The next icon brings me directly to the alarm center. Once again, this is just a shortcut to get me to the alarm center. We'll actually cover the alarm center in more detail later on in a separate tutorial. Next I have my CPU status, my RAM status, my network status so I can see how hard the CPU on my local machine is running, how well I'm utilizing my local memory or RAM, and how well my network is handling any traffic inbound or outbound. Am I using all of my pipe or using very little of my pipe? I can also see who I'm logged in as, I can see the current time, and here is a locking icon where if I need to walk away from my desk, I don't want anybody else playing around. I can go ahead and choose to lock the system. And when I return, I can simply click to unlock or I can choose to go ahead and exit out of control client. If I choose to click to unlock, my username is there. I'll need to enter my password, unlock, and I'm back in and I'm ready to continue operating. Beyond that, we have the standard Windows icons for minimize, maximize, and close out the program. 